Hi everyone, I am here to do a flip through today of my newest journal. It has been so long since I have been able to craft anything, but um, what I decided to do for this one was combine two things um, that I absolutely love, which is Jane Austen, anything by Jane Austen, and Halloween. So what I have here today is my latest creation. Um, I don't have a name for it yet, but it is all Jane Austen, Pride and Prejudice, mixed with goth and Halloween. So for the cover, I have a very old book that was completely ruined. The spine wasn't usable anymore, so I just cut the two covers off, and then I made my own flexible spine out of just material, and I sewed in the signatures with strong upholstery thread and then double supported it with these pretty ribbons on the side. So I have a couple different layers here on the cover. This um, is another old book actually that you can see poking out here. It was an old timekeeper book. Um, and then I used a few of the papers from it as well. It's like lead, beautiful dated ledger paper for timekeeping. And I have some burlap. I have some old vintage lace. All the lace that I used in here is completely original and vintage. I used the face of an old clock. And then I have one of these jars that I just stuffed with some black yarn. And then I printed this label that says arsenic. And I attached that to the front of it so it kind of looked like a little poison jar. And then, of course, I have this beautiful image on the front here, and that was my inspiration for this journal. So this beautiful, beautiful bride, and then if you look closely, you can see that her face is starting to deteriorate, almost like she's becoming a zombie. So that was my inspiration for this. So this is what the spine looks like. It is huge. It's a three-inch spine when I measured it. And then um, here is the back which is again just the material that I used to sew in the signatures and then this pretty piece of vintage lace that flips up if you would like and then I have some of this old black threading that goes throughout too oh and then this little tag here that says Paris because the story that will unfold um starts with a letter from Paris warning of this upcoming virus um, that she will send to her brother in England. So getting started, I always like to have a little story with my journals. I like them to tell a tale. So the story starts with this letter here that is addressed to Sir William. And it is postmarked from Paris. And I just have a wax seal here. And when you open the letter, it is to her dearest brother, William, from a woman named Rose. And she is writing, saying she's not sure really what is going on. But there seems to be this terrible virus that is afflicting people in Paris. And she is encouraging him to pack up all of his belongings in England and head to their family's cottage in a more secluded area to stay away from people. So, um... That was kind of my inspiration that there's some virus happening and people don't know what's going on. But obviously, we know from watching movies that they are turning into zombies. So I was kind of even thinking of that movie Pride and Prejudice and zombies. And that was kind of my take for this. So there's just this little um, stamping that I did on fabric from Paris again because that's where his sister Rose wrote him a letter to. And then I just rusted this safety pen and I have a little charm there of the Eiffel Tower. And the book is tea dyed paper and scrapbook paper. And then I did some stamping. And I really tried to balance it with the femininity of Jane Austen. But also have that gothic dark undertone for Halloween. So there's a couple of very dainty feminine tags here that I just stamped. I left the back open for writing and then I put some um, gentlemen on the tags and then also there'll be some ladies in their fine attire too. 
more Paris ephemera. And then as the story continues, after he reads the warning letter from his sister, I kind of envisioned him sitting in this chair with his writing um, pen and thinking, okay, what am I, what am I going to do about this situation? And then I kind of thought this would be like his room. I thought this paper was perfect for wallpaper. And maybe this is a photo of William and his older sister, Rose, that's hanging on the wall. And he's wondering what should he do about this letter that he received? So, of course, with Jane Austen, maybe he is contemplating what he should do over a cup of tea. So I have these little cutouts here. And then this flips over. And, of course, we have to have a little ephemera here, Pride and Prejudice. Maybe he's reading this book while he's trying to decide what to do. And I have this tag here. Again, the backs I left open for extra journaling space. And then with his tea, obviously, he would need a tea bag with his tea inside. And then this pulls out a little card for some journaling space. Oh, and then this is also a pocket. And there's another piece of ephemera in there. Inside here, there's also a pocket that is stuffed with goodies. Um, this is another letter. And then this is a very, very old piece of paper. And it is, um, it says the wedding. And so I was thinking that as he is sitting in his chair and he is contemplating what he should do about this letter that he received, he's obviously thinking of his bride and his wife that he loves very much and how he's going to tell her what's going on. This paper I thought was perfect, thinking of maybe him looking at his calendar, what would be the best day for them to depart for their journey. And then this says, the most beautiful thing. So here's his bride, Annabelle, and he's thinking of her and how to tell her the news. So for this page, I again thought this perfect uh, paper would be suitable for wallpaper. And this is after he tells Annabelle that they need to leave and he's urging her to pack everything up. So I kind of use this chair as a tuck spot and I just put some of her clothes on little hangers that I made and I envisioned them kind of draped over the chair in a hurry thinking of what to pack. I use this as a little photo mirror on the wall and then here is their luggage that they're starting to put together. And this actually opens up and then inside um, are some random pieces of luggage that they're starting to pack for their trip. So there's a hat and some shoes. Um, I've got a couple of parasol, parasols there and um, some of her wardrobe that they're going to need for this trip. And then those just tuck back inside of here. And then you can close the suitcase or luggage lid like, like that. Just a little tag here, journaling card. Um, I put a little tea kettle here because obviously Jane Austen, again, they would not leave without their tea and tea kettles. Um, okay, here's a packet here with a journaling tag. And then this is in their piano room. I have a vintage, or I'm sorry, rusted paper clip safety pin here with a music note their piano and maybe here's two more photos of family members on the wall and then sheet music here and then journaling paper and then this is a flip out the photo inside could be removed if you would like to put your own picture there but I just have two women here again maybe more family members and then that is the end of the first signature. So this is open here, just extra space. So it'll allow for you to stuff in your own ephemera and keepsakes if you would like um, without the book becoming too much of an alligator mouth. So there's lots of room for extras. These are two large journaling tags. And there's another side pocket here with another large journaling tag. And then when you flip it over, the second signature now is where things start to turn um, for the dark side. So the photos now have changed and they're becoming more zombie-esque. 
So the first pictures in the beginning of the journal were just vintage of their family, and now the photos are starting to change. There's a little paper doll here, um, another tag that I made, and a journaling card. And then this here is a pocket, and it's just a quote from Jane Austen, one of the books by Jane Austen. This is a large tag here. And again, these all um, just have large side pockets in the middle that you can put your own pictures in. And another journaling card and a photo. Again, another family member. Starting to succumb to the disease. Being afflicted by the zombie virus. This is um, another one of those DVD cases. And again, it flips up. And then you can put your own stuff in there or you could remove the photo. And this is a charm on another rusted safety pin. This cute little girl here, um, who is becoming a zombie, not so cute anymore. This pulls out from underneath and you have a journaling tag. And then she also flips up. And there is another Jane Austen quote from Pride and Prejudice, another family portrait. And then I left this open. You could put your own picture there or maybe a quote. This is a packet, and there is an original vintage bingo board, and you could journal on the back of that. On this page, there is a packet in here for a journaling card. This flips down, and there's another packet right here of a journaling card. And then these are three more paper dolls. So you could take these out and you can move them to the different rooms per se, the different pages of the different rooms for where the gentleman might be at. And then this flips out as well. And there is another family member and another Pride and Prejudice quote. Our journaling paper. And I just have this dainty charm. Another one of the DVD fold-outs pieces. Or tags, Pride and Prejudice quotes. Another chair, so you could take one of the paper dolls maybe and you can place them here. I have here just another journaling card, a tag. And then I have this old rusted clip here, which is holding in this envelope. Then I just tea dyed and then I stuffed it with some more goodies. So my thought was whoever gets this journal, they could have their own creative touch in it as well. And I have a lot more um, pieces that I cut out that maybe they want to pack with them for their trip to safety or they could decide where to put them. So I've got forks and knives and spoons and goblets and candles. So um, someone could have their own artistic creative touch and decide where they want to put all of those things. Okay, that ends the second signature and this starts the third signature. So I used an old tea bag here and it is a packet for this tag. And then this flips out and I have another little paper doll here. I thought her gown was absolutely beautiful. A large journaling card. And then on the pages that flipped out, this is a packet. And then down here, this also is a hidden packet with a flip out. Okay, so that closes back like that. And then you have all of these open packets too. Some things I've stuffed inside, but most I've left open. So you have ample room for your own goodies. Um, here's the same image, the bride on the cover says my sweetheart so obviously um we know what happens to poor william and annabelle they are not able to depart or flee from the disease and they succumb to it themselves so they're tar they're turning into zombies now and then i have a photo of this gentleman and it says completely and perfectly incandescently happy so even though they have turned into zombies themselves they're still madly in love and happy and she is holding a little journaling card tuck spot there too. Okay, on this page, um, these doors open up to their new home. 
and that is what their new house looks like. And here's another portrait, and it says, with shining eyes. And then I thought maybe these are their children, two boys that they have. More journaling space. And here is another journaling card here. Inside, you could take out if you would like, or you could leave it. More tea. And here we have Jane Austen, um, a little paper doll again, kind of just hanging over the side packet here. And here is another journaling card. And then this flips out, and you have a whole family portrait right here. And then this is space for journaling. And I have just some old vintage um, book paper definitions and root words. Another flip out. I love that image. I think that's beautiful. Okay, more ephemera here. Uh, rusted safety pen. And then I have their family emblem here and a key. Maybe a key to their new home. Another journaling card here. Or tag. Um, this is just a rusted paper clip. And then I just took book paper and I grunged it up a little bit. And then I put this poison tag here. And it's actually um, holding this tag inside. Little tuck spot. More vintage paper inside here. And I believe it's from the same book. And then this is the last picture. So you can see it's another family portrait and it has all of them. And they have all turned to zombies. So it's a new way of life for them. Um, but again, keeping with the Jane Austen theme, they are still all happy and well and madly in love with each other. And life goes on. This is the back page here. And that is the end. So you can see that the spine is really flexible. It is just made of fabric. Um, it's very, very sturdy. Again, I sewed it with strong upholstery thread, so nothing's going anywhere, um, but it's very, very flexible. So you're able to open it all the way flat. You can actually write on it without things, you know, being too congested, um, and it's very malleable. So you're able to stuff it with a lot of goodies. I hope you enjoyed watching. I always get so nervous when I film these videos, um, but I hope I did it justice, and I hope you all have a lovely day and a happy Halloween. Thank you so much for watching.